One of your it's Monday, we celebrate St. Philip's and St. James. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. You know, we're faced with many challenges in life. Some we face in our own homes, some we face in our communities, some we face in our churches. So as we begin, let's kind of reflect for a moment on the things that we must face as we continue our journey back home to God. For the times we fail to appreciate our blessings, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of apostles Philip and James, grant us share in the passion and the resurrection of your only begotten Son, that we may merit to behold for you, you for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received, in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you, as of first importance, what I also received, that Christ died for our sins, in accordance with the scriptures that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to the one born abnormally, he appeared to me, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song, their message goes out to all the earth. Their message, message goes, goes out to all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their, their message, message goes, goes out, out to all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse, whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out to all the earth. Friends, may the Lord be with you. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me, and I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else believe, because of the works themselves. Amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. Ask, and whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. Last night I was reading a, a story about um, a minister who was assigned to a new parish. It was a small parish, and the minister was told before he went there that it was a dying church. The people, the parish could barely pay its bills, and uh, it wasn't going to be long for its existence because it was just a dying place. When he got there, he saw something quite different than he had been told. He saw a lot of strengths of the church, that the people in the church generally cared about each other, and they were very good at supporting each other when the chips were down, when things went wrong. For example, it was a very forgiving community. When someone had their picture plastered all over the paper for whatever reason, the people would gather around and support that person or those persons. And when people could no longer drive, and they needed to go to doctors, they would take people for their doctor's appointments. 
They would take them and they would sit there and wait for them in the office if they could or even sit outside in their car, no matter how long it took. Um, they also were very good about when someone died, they surrounded the people with food, casserole after casserole after casserole casserole went in. As a matter of fact, when people lost loved ones, if you looked at any of their freezers, he saw it packed with casseroles. Not only that, but once a month, these people would pay for and work at the local, local soup kitchen. They would do a lot of wonderful things. And the one thing that probably really stood out with him is he found out there was a guy in the parish that was teetering on homelessness. He had a job. The job wasn't a very good paying job. So in order for the guy to be, keep putting gas in the car and get repairs done to his car, people in the parish would hire him as a kind of a handyman, even though he wasn't all that handy. And they made sure that he had enough money so that he would be able to go to work, his car would be running, and he was able to stay in his home. And yes, there was even a retired, retired school teacher in this small congregation that would tutor kids for nothing, of course, that were struggling in school. So this pastor that was told this congregation was poor, he wasn't told the whole story. Financially, they struggled to make it, as a lot of people do and a lot of churches do, but they were rich in so many other ways. So as we continue on this Easter journey, let's remember it's not only about money, it's not only about buildings, it's so much more than that. God bless. Let us offer now these petitions. For the church, that it may always be a sign of hope, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For churches throughout the world, that they may continue to not only be supportive, but to be supportive of others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those preparing to leave this world, we pray. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to truly bless our journey through Christ our Lord. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have spread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to give you, food of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of God's holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of Apostles Philip and James, and bestow on religion pure and undefiled through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Fathers, out of love you created us, in justice you condemned us, in mercy you redeemed us through Jesus your Son. So once again we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. 
bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Ginny Champy and Janet Comensberger, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. It's offered to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, take, take away the sin, sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Purify our minds, O Lord, by these holy gifts we receive, so that, contemplating your, in your Son, together with the Apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing continue to guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good day, everyone.